should have brought my drop cord, Mason. It's out of the map. I still get all your needs. Okay. I'm live streaming this one. Facebook. Cherokee Lamars, and this is JV Match, Dale Bellum. This is JV Match, Dale Billum. Welcome, Trevor. Third period, Steele's choice. He's down 4-0. Dale right, takes Dale. neutral. Keep going, Dale. Keep going, bud.
Four to two. One minute left. Reach for his head, Dale. Seconds left. Dale's down four to two. Dale gave up a lot hands penalty. Now he's down five to two. That ends it. Dale Billum loses five to two in a JV match with Lamar. Dawson Dukeman, another JV match for Cherokee, Cherokee versus Lamars. Dawson loses by fall. Looks like we got one more JV match coming up. JV match, Dakota Meyer from Cherokee versus Lamars.
Next up looks like Carson Furman for Cherokee. Another JV match versus Lamars. Carson Furman up 2-0, first period. Seniors Bronson Reese, Tyler Zyman, and Kate Jurgensen. varsity match. We're starting at the weight class 170. Cherokee is Tyler Zyman. He's a senior. And for Lamar's Miles Cass. Simon with a quick takedown. Goes right to work on half Nelson. Quick roll through, no back points. He's working him over again. Now we're in your fall. Tyler Simon with the first period fall. 42 seconds. 
puts the Braves up 6-0 over the Mars after the first match. Next will be weight class 182 for Cherokee. That will be Trayton Schubert. And for the Mars, Robert Sadowski. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I guess it's Dana and Pierce. Wrestling 182. Dana and Trayton both at 182 tonight. So one will wrestle 182 and the other will wrestle 195. So it looks like Dana gets the call here at 182. I see Matthew Steins is watching on our live stream. Shout out to him. One of our bravest wrestlers moving on to Morningside College. Wishing him good luck there. We miss you, Matthew. Sorry. I trapped the area there for a second. Don't reach! Point takedown. Sadowski right back to his feet though. Out of bounds and Sadowski gets awarded the one point escape. So they'll start on their feet again. Pearson the lead two to one. He's still in the first period. Forty-three seconds to go. Pearson another shot. Turns the corner and gets a two-point taken. Sadowski gets away again for another one point skate. Sprawl! Four to two now. Sprawl! Pierce, and we're neutral. First period. We're down to 10 seconds left. That ends the first period. Pierce ahead, four to two. Sadowski defers. And Pierce is going to go neutral again. Let's go, David. Let's go, Pierce can get in on their takedown here. Got two in the first period. And he scores another takedown. He's up six to two. Thirty seconds left in the second period. 
Sadowski with another escape. Score now is six to three in favor of Pierce. Pierce doing a pretty nice job on his feet tonight. That ends the second period. Score still 6 3 in favor of Pierce. Sadowski's choice, and he's going to take down in the third period. Two minutes to go in the match. Pierce holding in there, no points given up yet. Go out of bounds and Sadowski's gonna get an escape again. Makes the score now, six to four. Coach is asking about the shoes of Sadowski. Does it really have to have covers on your laces or have your laces taped? His don't appear to be, but the referee said it was all right. Six to four, and we have a minute and 24 seconds left in the match. Pierce is up six four. Another takedown would almost finish the sound. Five seconds remaining in the match. He's still up six to four. You gotta go, Danny. Pierce has been warned for stalling. Lamar's in on a shot. Pierce holding him off. Oh, and he scores the big time. That ties it up. Match is now six to six. Twenty-one seconds left in the match. Pierce getting up kind of slow. Pierce is going to take some injury time. Coach is going to come check him out. <laughs> injury time. Each wrestler gets a minute and a half injury time. And you can use a total of three timeouts. Once that injury time is used up, then... Russell has to decide whether to go or default, so and check him out. So they cut the time, and they'll record how much he used at the table. Here's going to start on the bottom. Six to six, and there's 21 seconds left in the match. So he gives up one for the match stoppage with the injury time, and then a two-point near fall. This near fall was imminent. Match stoppage, one point, and then he would have gotten a two near falls if they get to So Pierce is down now, nine to six. He gets the escape, now nine seven. Six seconds left. If you could get a takedown, it would tie it up. And that's going to be time. Oh, Pierce. Tough match. Ends up going down 9 7. So that'll be a three point win for Lamar's. Makes the team score Cherokee 6, Lamar's 3. Now we're up to 195.
We've got Trayton Schubert up from Cherokee. And according to my program, Justin Autumn from Lamar's. <laughs> this is a 195 weight class. It's our third match of the duo. Cherokee up six to three. Trayton Schubert, junior this year. See another old brave watching out there. Nate Solis. Shout out to him. Hey Nate, if you're wrestling, I'd tell you to cut him. Schubert going for the head throw. He's still got the head. Oh, no points. Go back to neutral. Said before, Trayton and Danan take care of the 182 and 195 weight classes. Both weighing in at 182. Trayton gives up the takedown for the Mars. He's now down 2 0. Trayton with the escape makes the match 2 to 1. I knew you'd like that one, Nate. Working the edge on the far side of the mat. And that's going to end the first period. And score 2-1 to one in favor of Justin Otto from Lamar's. Trayton Schubert's choice. He's going to defer to Red. Lamar's. Lamar's is going to take down. Two to one, second period. 195 weight class. Trayton Schubert. Start out on top. No points yet. Trayton getting back to the mat here. There we go. Still 2-1 in favor of Otto. Second period. Minute 22 to go. Schubert's down 2-1. Otto gets the escape, makes it three to one in his favor over Schubert. He gets the takedown on Schubert. Gives him two more points, making it five one for Otto. About a minute to go in the first period. See my friend Andrew Miller is watching down there in Ida Grove. Shout out to Andy, former teammate of mine. Thinking about you, buddy. Also see former Cherokee great Dewey Hupke just checked in. Down there in Independence. How you doing, Dewey? Schubert back to his feet, gets the escape, makes it 5 2. About 15 seconds to go in the second period. Working that edge again and no points. We'll come back to the edge neutral. Still 5 2. That ends the second period. Third period, it's going to be Schubert's choice. 
Bruins down five to two. Two minutes left in the match. Come on, Schubert! Schubert chooses down. He's down five two. Start the third period. Caught in the cradle. Oh, and he rolls out of it. Back to his feet for the one point escape. Makes the match 5 3. Schubert now down by two. Third period with a minute and a half to go. Hard for a throw there. Take down would tie the match up. He's down five to three. One minute left to go. Holy man! Holy man! Working that edge again. Otto trying to get out of bounds. Schubert trying to keep him in. And the ref's gonna start him over in the middle. New out of bounds rules this year for high school. Much more like college. The ability to score near fall and pins outside the wrestling circle. It's 28 seconds left in the match. Schubert in on a headlock. Nope, doesn't get the corner turn. 15 seconds to go. Schubert's still down by two. Takedown would tie it up. Five seconds. Oh, and Red gets a warning for stalling. I think it's going to be a little too late. Justin Otto wins the match. Five to three. Gives Lamars another three team points. So now the team score is tied up, six to six. Move up to the 220 pound weight class. Wyatt Kraft from Cherokee. And Travis Thiessen from Lamars. Here we go, Dean! Wyatt with a football injury. And this being his first competition of the season. Why it wasn't cleared yet to wrestle on uh, Tuesday night or doing Maple Valley. Hey, you gotta lay on it. Nate Sully's had a question out there. This is a dual tournament, Nate, so we will wrestle five duels tonight. We won the first two, Sioux City West and Maple Valley Antonoto. This will be our third duel of the night with Lamar's. Wyatt gives up a takedown. And Looks like he also gave up two near fall. And he is still on the bottom. Wyatt kind of got the roll out of bounds there, but uh, no points. They were off the map. Get up! Get up! Wyatt working hard on the bottom here. Try and get it back to his feet. up the fall to Lamar's at 220 pounds. Six more team points for Lamar's. Makes the score 12-6 now in favor of Lamar's over Cherokee. And we'll bring in the big boys. Heavyweights. Heavyweight class maximum is 285. As long as you're over the 220 pound weight class you're eligible to wrestle at heavyweight. We have Caleb McGee for Cherokee and Brennick Hope from, or maybe Hoppy, from the Mars. A little flurry there, no points yet. Oh, there. 
gives up a two-point takedown. Taylor first year out this year for Cherokee. That's another six for Lamar, so that would make it 18 6. Let's go, Simon! Simon Mummer for Cherokee at 106. He's going to receive a forfeit. That gives Cherokee six more team points. Makes the score 12 to 18 in favor of Lamar. Now we go up to the 113 pound weight class. For Cherokee, we have Mason Hill. And for Lamar, Blake Dirksen. Cherokee down 18 to 12. Fun scene on my old wrestlers. Check it out. Chris Lansing down there in Bondurant. One of my wrestlers turned wrestling coaches. Mason Hill in on the takedown. Goes up 2 0. First 15 seconds. Looks like he's got a leg hook there. Working a little from the top. Mason Hill, pretty good leg rider. He's working a leg and a half combination. Comes back with the cross face, gets a one count. Oh, now he's getting some near fall. Get him there, bud! Looks like the ref got a five count there. He's holding three near fall points. And there they are. Mason goes up 5 0. First period. Just under a minute left. Some more near fall points or a fall for the Braves. 30 seconds now remaining in the first period. Hill up 5 0. He's getting another near fall count. Working hard for a cradle. Here we go, Mason. We Got another one. two point near fall. Making the score 7 0. Hill ahead. It's going to be Hill's choice in the second period. He's going to defer to Lamar's. Dirksen's going to go on top. He's going to ride. up quick from the bottom in the second period. Ooh, turns right around and a nice takedown. Gets a two-point reversal. There you go. Gets some more near fall. Hey, Bring it back. Oh, back. Scoop the head. Scoop the head. Referee in there checking for a fall. And he comes up with it. Hill gets a second period fall for the Braves. Ties it up 18-18. We're going to the 120 pound weight class next. Cherokee, we got Michael Burkhart. And for the Bulldogs, Jason Hand. Here we go, Mikey! Let's go, Michael! Let's go, Michael! Another one of my teammates checking in, Gail Wessel. Or like we used to call him in high school, loud and swing. Mike Burkhardt in on a quick takedown. Hand tries to grab a leg and go for a roll through there. Burkhardt gets the takedown and some near fall, it looks like. 
no finish. Referee right holding the two point. A little scramble there, but Burkhart holds on to the leg and the control. Scores the two point near fall. Up now four to zero in the first period. Finish, Michael, finish. Get that Michael Burkhart trying to clear himself there. Get a better. He's working hard from the top. Bring your legs down. Get up. Bring him back here. Near fall there on the edge. Referee counting again. Hard to see that was out of my range here. Michael Burkhart with a three point near fall, and he lets Hand go for an escape. He's now up seven to one in the first period. Just 10 seconds remaining. And that's the end of the first period. Shot there by Hand, but he wasn't able to finish. I believe it's going to be Hans' choice. Keep going, Jason. Get out there. Uh, <laughs> Hans' choice. He's going to defer to Burkhart. Burkhart checking in with his coach. He's going to hey, go down. Go. Start of the second period. Burkhart seven, hand one. And we got a tie match at 18. Burkhart with the long sit out. Comes around for the reversal right into near fall. Rough down for the count. Burkhart trying to settle in for the fall. And gets out of it. Burkhart with another three near fall. Makes the score 12-1 in favor of Burkhart. Second period. Oh, Burkhart rolls right into a nice cradle. Referee counting for some more near fall. Burkhart with a three-point near fall. Makes it 15-1. to Burkhart still in control. He's ahead by 14, one more point, and it will be a technical fall for the Braves. Burkhart still on top. Hand kind of locked up on a leg there. Don't let him have it! Burkhart up 15 to 1, second period. We got about 30 seconds left. Get it, Michael! Yeah, dude, nice on the leg. You're really fighting Burkhart. Burkhart still in control. Burkhart locked up in the leg there. Holding on. Got about 10 seconds left in the period. And now it would not be a change of score. There, hand scores the reversal. Oh, and a near fall on Burkhart. Burkhart fights it off and the period ends. It's all right. It's all right. And going to score two. That's going to make it 15 5. The start of the third period. It's going to be Hand's choice. He's going to go back on the bottom. Burkhart now up by 10, which would be a major decision for the Braves. And four points of uh, four point team point score. We're still tied at 18. Burkhart's still on top. 
still up by 10, 15-5. You're welcome, Dad. My pleasure. Burkhart's still working hard trying to score some near fall there. Fighting off hand. He's not giving up easy. Being down by 10. Burkhart really close to scoring some more near fall. Kind of tied up in there underneath. Pop your head up. At the back door. Back door. Burkhart's still in control. No points yet. He's up 15 to 5 at less than a minute remaining in the match. Burkhart lets up a little bit. It's the reversal. That makes it 17 to 5. Burkhart getting some more near fall. If he could get three near fall here, it would be tech fall for the Braves. And he gets a two-point near fall, which now makes the score 19 to 5. Burkhart's still in control. It's gonna be a major decision. Hand scores a reversal right at the end to make it 19 to 7. Kind of a crazy ending to this match here. Good job, Mikey! And that's gonna end it. Making it 19 to 7 for Burkhart. Major decision is going to get him four points. I believe that makes it 20. Or no, that would make it 22 to 18 in favor of the Braves. Brings up the 126 pound weight Which is Damon Williams for the Braves. Caden Ostermeyer for the Bulldogs. Braves in the lead, 22 to 18. It's gonna be a tight one, I think. Another one of my boys checking in, Terry Reinick. Watching up there in Sioux Falls. Damon Williams in a nice shot. And we go out of bounds, no score. Let's go! Don't press the back! Right there! Right there! Right there! Right there. Hey, Terry Ryan, I don't know what else you'd be doing either. It's Friday night, maybe you'd be taking care of that beard. Damon in on a nice shot. Turns the corner, and he scores two for the takedown. Scores a two-point near fall. Get a little bit of a scramble there. He gives up the reversal. Oh, right back in to a reversal of his own and almost near fall. This is going to be a back and forth match. Most of Meyer now on the bottom. Damon Williams on the top. Williams up 6-2. to two. About 15 seconds left in the first period. A lot of movement in this one so far. And that's going to take us into the second period. Williams up 6-2. to two. Williams is going to defer. Most of my are taken down. Williams 
up 6-2. Braves hold on to a small lead, 22-18. For eight matches into 14, the Braves. Williams run a nice chicken wing there. He's got locked up pretty tight. He can work his way around the head here to score himself some near fall points. There he goes. He's got him turned. Referee's counting off some near fall. Should get at least a two pointer out of this one. If not more. He's got it locked up pretty nice. Pretty close to a fall. And he gets it. Williams with the big fall for Cherokee. Had six more team points. That would make it 28 to 18. So the Braves go up by 10 points now. And we are up to 132 pound weight class. And Hunter Shaw for the Braves. Hunter Shaw is going to be taking a Jacob Frankensmall. Come on, Hunter, let's go! Hey, we even got my uh, cousin online, watching down there in Ankeny, Rick Maples. <laughs> Team's coming together, Nate Solis. Filling in some pieces that we didn't have before. Young kids wrestling tough. Haha, <laughs> my hero Dick Beerman just checked in. World Traveler. Uh, Ooh, nice slide by there by Frank Small. Scores the takedown on uh, Hunter Shaw. Goes up 2-0 to zero in the first period. We got about a minute left to go. And they go off the mat. This is going to bring back to the middle here. Damon Williams walking through. Nice job, Damon. Get up, Hart! And Shaw trying to work out from the bottom here. Hey, my friend uh, Trent Holmes has checked in. Trent, your daughter is here, just so you know. <laughs> he says the basketball coach and wrestling coach can be buddies, right Trent? Still 2-0, favor of Frank and Small. About 20 seconds left to go in the first period. First period, still 2-0 Frankensmall. It's going to be his choice in the second period. He's going to defer to Hunter Shaw. Hunter Shaw's going to go neutral. Hunter pretty tough on his feet. Let's try to work for a takedown here. Ah, world traveler Dick Beerman down there in Arizona. Kids didn't wear coats recess today, Dick, just so you know. Be nice back from chair eight. Shaw, oh, gives up the takedown on the edge. That's gonna put him down 4-0 in the second period. He's got about a minute and a half to go. <laughs> 
Yes, uh, April. Your daughter is here too. In fact, I almost had to move her over because she was going to sit in front of my camera here. She's right there. Hey, Jemay. Jemay. She's not painting. Get up! Ooh, Shaw gets turned over. He's giving up some back points here. There you go, Hunter! Oh, and he gets out of it. Nice job of Shaw. He gives up the three near fall, but he stays off his back. That's going to make the score seven to zero. In favor of Frank and Small. Shaw still on the bottom. Got about 50 seconds to go in. Second period. All the way up. Good a nice job coming back to speed. And he scores the escape. It'll be one point for Shaw. Makes the score seven to one in favor of Frankie Small. Second period. in the second period. Oh, and Frank and Small with another takedown. That would make the score 9-1 to one in favor of Frank and Small. Shaw working hard to fight back up. And that ends the second period. Going to be Frank and Small's choice here in the third. Come on, Hunter, here we go! Shaw. Third period and we're neutral again. It's down nine to one. Would be a major decision at this point, giving Lamar's four team points. I believe if I have it penciled out correctly, the Braves are up ten at this point, twenty-eight to eighteen. Shaw trying to stay square here. Not give up Pick it up! Grab that ankle, pick it up. Trying to stall him out here for a stalemate. Oh, and Frank and Small turns the corner, scores another two point takedown. Nice right, working the head lever into a chicken. Get up, bud, keep working. Working the edge here. Right in front of me, got a pretty good shot. Oh, he gets out of it. Nice job with Shaw. Getting off his back. Gives up another three point unit ball, though. Making the score 14 to 1. Gotta keep him from scoring here to avoid the technical ball. Going right back over again into the near ball. Shaw can get out of his back here. It's over. And with the three point near ball, that's gonna make the score 17 to 1. And it should be a technical ball for the Mars. Giving them five team points. Making it 28 23. Braves up now by five. Going into the 138 pounds weight class. Another one of my teammates checking in from up there in Spirit Lake, Neil Johnson. One of those good old Ida Grove Hawks. Jurgensen senior for the Braves. Ooh, crazy scramble. Lamar's with the takedown. My program says Jacob Singer from Lamar's. Cade clears it right back for the escape. Making it two to one. Ooh, and a shot out of bounds. And we have no score on that. One. Way. We're checking in here. Should be neutral here. Yep. Two to one. The referee was going to set him incorrectly there. Hey, how you doing? Dave Faffel, referee, checking in. Dave 
principal at MLC Floyd Valley. Okay, doing a nice job on the scramble here, staying in tight, not giving up the takedown. Okay, close to having him on his back there, but not having the takedown yet. No control. Cade's matches are usually pretty crazy with the scrambles. Cade's scoring the takedown now to take the lead 3-2. to two. About a minute left to go in the first period. Ooh, right to his back. Jurgensen with the near Oh, and the big pin for the Braves. Nice job. That would give the Braves another 6, extending their lead to 11. So we've got 34. 23. Nice job, Jurgensen. Kind of neat when he gets some siblings on the same team. This would be Kay Jurgensen's younger brother, Dane, wrestling the 145 pound class. Making the big brother go, or the little brother go up and wait to see. Jensen in on the nice takedown on Dane. And they go out of bounds. That makes the score two to zero in favor of Jensen, Lamars. They're gonna restart in the middle here. Jurgensen on the bottom. Jensen from Lamars on top. Jurgensen working his way to his feet and he scores the escape. Makes the score two to one in favor of Jensen. 55 seconds to go in the first period. Big swing there. They go out of bounds. Still two to one in favor of Jensen. Ten seconds left in the first period. Shout out to former Brave Charlie Witch, watching down there in sunny Florida. Talk to your brother Parker tonight, Charlie. He said he's coming down to see him. Jurgensen going to start the second period on the bottom. Jensen going on top. Let's see if Dane can't get another escape here. Oh, they get to the edge of the match. Oh, and Dane does get the escape. Makes the score 2-2 two two now in the second period. About a minute 45 to go. Oh, and Jurgensen drives Jensen right off the map. They hustle back out to the center to go again. Oh, quick shot off the whistle by Jensen. Jurgensen ties up his legs, though, trying to turn the corner. And they reset back to the feet. Shot by Jurgensen with the throw on the edge. But didn't finish in bounds, so they're going to start neutral again. Still
still two to two. Minute 13 to go in the second period. shot and he scores the takedown. Go up four to two. Oh, and Jensen picks up Jurgensen, they go off the mat. Here we go. Jurgensen's still down. He's down by a score of four to two. 26 seconds left in the second period. Jurgensen up to his feet and he scores a one point escape. Okay. About 10 seconds left in the second period. And that ends the second. The score 4 to 3. Favorite Jensen. It's going to be his choice, and he's going to start on the bottom for the third period. See if Jorgensen can't uh, get some back points here. Make the turn. And maybe let him back to his feet and try and work some takedowns here. He's got two minutes left in the match. Right into a takedown. Scoring three points very quickly there. Makes his lead seven to three. Oh, he's got Jorgensen's shoulder tied up pretty good there. He gets him turned. Jorgensen in the high bridge. Not giving up back points yet though. Oh, there they go. Official holding three back points there. We'll see if they Dane gets off his back, gives up the three back points, but one escape himself. Makes the score now 10 to 4. And we got a minute left in the match. Score 10 to 4 in favor of Jensen and Lamar. 10 to 4 would be a regular decision. Three team points. And they're scrambling on the edge again, and they go out of bounds. He's still neutral. Referee's going to start him back in the middle. Pretty good match here, lots of movement. 44 seconds to go in the match. 10-4, Jurgensen and Cherokee is down. Thirty seconds to go in the match. And we're still at 10-4. Jensen of Lamar's in the lead. Oh, and he gets it on a nice single leg. Gets to the edge. Jorgensen still fighting it off. And they go out of bounds. No takedown, we're still neutral. Thirteen seconds left in the match. Ten to four, Jensen in the lead. Looks like he's blocking Jorgensen pretty good now. Jurgensen with the last second shot, and that's going to end it. 10 to 4. It's going to bring Lamar back within 8 points, I believe. Can you record Kale for me? Thanks, man. Should turn on when you open it. Then that silver one on the right, that's start and stop. If you want, I don't care. All right, we got Kale Wood up for the Braves. 152 pound weight class. I'm not sure if this is Cameron Hinkle. Let's see who they have listed in the program. I don't recognize him though from the last duel. 
Oh, Kale Wood with the quick takedown. It's up two to zero. He's working a nice chicken wing there. Let's see if Kale can get it turned here. He's got it locked up pretty tight. Still driving. He's working it, working it. Circle, circle, circle. Got a nice chicken wing locked up there with the wrist on the other side. Step over the head. Working around the head, trying to get him to turn for some near fall. Referee's counting, scoring some near fall points there. He gets a little high. Stays in control though, and stays on top. And scores a two point near fall. Gives him a 4 0 lead. Minute to go in the first period. They go out of bounds and just start back in the middle. Kale Wood with the 4 0 lead in the first period. Shout out to Uncle Jared there watching in Iowa Falls. Kale Wood with a nice break down there off the whistle. He's working the leg for a cradle there and goes away from it. Working that chicken wing again. on the far side of the mat, working the edge. <laughs> Wood's still working that chicken wing. Bringing back a bar arm now, back into his wing. It's gonna be the end of the first period. Wood up 4-0. Wood up four to zero in the second period. It's gonna be his choice. He's gonna to defer to Hinkle. Hinkle's gonna go on the bottom to start the second. Uh, Nate Solis, Kale is a freshman this year, ninth grade. Yeah. Kale Wood's still working tough on the top. Hey, he blew a tire. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Yeah, Kale Wood with a tough ride on the top, working those chicken wings on his halves. A little high, but he's staying in pretty good control. Ooh, into a headlock. And he's scoring some near fall points once again. It's pretty tight. We'll see if he can hold on to it. If he can lift that head, he might have a shot at the fall. Keep him in bounds here. With the new rules, keep himself in bounds at least. And they're out of bounds. Wood's going to get three more near fall. Puts him up 7-0 in the second period. 52 seconds to go. Wood goes back to that chicken wing. He's trying to trap that wrist underneath. Working for a far wrist. Step over, he's in another set of near fall. Head off the mat! He's working hard there for the fall. And another near fall. Oh, nice adjustments by Wood on the top. Very close to a fall. And he gets it! Wood with the fall at 152. It's his third one on the night. Nice job, that's my boy. I believe that put the Braves back up by 11 again. Thanks, buddy. Anybody got the team score? Brings us up to the 160 pound weight class. 
senior Bronson Reese for the Braves. Dylan Carlson for the Bulldogs. Kills Poe checking in from Alden, Iowa. Bronson Reese with the quick takedown, not wasting any time. Scoring two in the first 10 seconds of the match. Bronson Reese working a nice head lever right into a half. Doesn't have it super tight, but he's got him over his back. Everybody's watching it live. Everybody's watching it live. Bronson Reese scoring the three point near fall. Takes a 5 0 lead in the first period. About a minute to go in the first period. Bronson Reese, we're getting a nice spiral right there. Breaks Carlson back down again. Carlson pretty tough on the top. Working on a near cradle there, digging his head into the ribs of Carlson. Now he goes back to the head. And that ends the first period. Bronson Reese up 5 0. Didn't quite see whose choice it was there. They're going to start neutral in the second. We're in Hinton tonight, Nate Solis, at the Blackhawk Duels. Uh, we wrestled. Sioux City West, the first round, and got the duel in there. Uh, second round, we wrestled Maple Valley Antonoto, who we wrestled in Mapleton Tuesday night. Uh, got a win out of that one. And we're in our third duel of the evening with Lamars. We have Hinton and West Lyon yet to go after this one. Pretty tough first Friday of the season with five matches. Bronson Reese still working tough on the top. 7-0 still in the second period. 44 seconds remaining in the second. Bronson really grinding on him from the top position. Wearing Carlson out. Bronson Reese still working hard on the top. Carlson doing a pretty good job of blocking from underneath. That's going to end the second period. Third period, it's going to be Reese's choice. He's going to go to the bottom to start the third. Bronson Reese, Cherokee up 7-0, third period. Blackhawk Ghouls and Hinton. Cherokee versus Lamars. Working 
working his way back up to his feet. Oh, switches off to a nice switch. Comes around and scores the reversal. Makes the score 9-0 for Reese. Right into near fall, and he gets him. Bronson Reese with the big fall at 160 for the Braves. And another 16 points for Cherokee. Cherokee, I believe, with a comfortable lead now. And that is the duel. Let's see if I can't get a final team score here. Anybody know the score? Anybody know? Go ask him, Goble. Kalina, what's the score? I have no idea. I thought you were the manager, Kalina. I don't keep track of that. All right. I just videotape. Okay. Hey. Did we win that? I believe so. We were up 11 going into that last one, so. 46 20.